Weiwense and Wiseman, perhaps the most difficult cigar name to pronounce. And unfortunately, it's going away forever. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Eric. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Please don't forget to like, to comment, subscribe, hit that bell to make certain that you are alerted every time we produce new content. If you're interested in the original OG Wiseman and Wei Wednesday cigars from Foundation, check us out, you know where to find us. Yes, it is a sad day. It's a sad day for me because these cigars uh, have been a part of my cigar journey for a very long time, but with every dark cloud comes a silver lining, and I wanna jump into that. Big news hit the cigar world, at least the boutique cigar world of things, when it comes to favorite brands, uh, there are a lot of brands out there and sort of brands that have kind of done the David and Goliath story, like starting off super, super small and gradually work their way up. One of those brands, which are my personal favorite, is Foundation Cigar Company. Founded by Nick Melillo, this was almost 10 years ago. I believe we're coming up on the 10th year. And he launched his entire brand. Foundation Cigar started with one cigar, one blend. And that was the blue label Wei Wensei Cigar. So, Wewense is an indigenous Nicaraguan name. Translates to the wise man. When it came out, everyone tried to take a stab at how to pronounce this cigar. Finally, it was common knowledge and finally got around there to know as the Wewense. And it was used to commemorate the Nicaraguan people, the Nicaraguan culture, and to launch Foundation Cigar Company. So Nick Melillo went to the factory of Aganor Salif in Nicaragua, which I'm a big fan of, and created an all Nicaraguan blend using Corojo 99 tobacco as its wrapper and Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's a great like medium, got some sweetness, spice, cedar, earth, a lot of complexity going on in this cigar. And it's a really good like entry level. If you want to maybe step it up from like mild cigar to a bit stronger, Wewense is a great option for that. This is the six by 56. It's a little bit hefty, but an amazing stick. Now, fast forward several years after that, uh, releasing a few other cigars, he then followed up his Wei Wensei line with a red label that got really good recognition by Cigar Aficionado. In fact, this won number three slot when it first came out. This is the Wise Man Maduro using a San Andreas Maduro Nicaraguan fillers. Great, amazing flavor, both made uh, and crafted at Aganor Salif factory. However, news just rocked the boutique cigar world this earlier this month. I had heard about it from different, several different sources, read the articles, we even have our own cigar review on it, along with a whole host of other cigar reviews on our website. However, these two cigars are no longer being produced. In fact, Foundation is rebranding the line, they're gonna let these two brands go, and they are moving factories for the production of that line. They will now be having the Wise Man Corojo, formerly known as the Wewense, and then again, the Wise Man Maduro. However, both those cigars are getting new looks, new cigar labels, and new blends all together. While I understand it, majority of the blends are Nicaraguan seed, there's a few inflections and differences. Another San Andreas Maduro for that uh, Wise Man Maduro. However, those cigars, instead of being produced at Aganorsa, are now being produced at the Garcia family, factory in Nicaragua. The Garcia family is responsible for none other than My Father's Cigars. If you've been around the cigar world for a while, you probably recognize the name My Father's Cigars. They've gotten recognition a ton of times. In fact, they've won Cigar of the Year twice with the release of their Florida Las Cynthias, as well as their Le Bijou 1922. With those releases came a lot of notoriety. They have a really good, like solid portfolio, really awesome cigars. And now the new Wise Men Duo will be produced four foundation cigars from the My Father Cigar Factory. What do you guys think? Is this news that you're very excited to hear? Is this news you're a bit sad to hear because you enjoy the original blends? Do you enjoy Aganorsa's cigar so much more than my father? Where does that really land for you guys? Please drop down in the comments. I would be thrilled to know your opinion on this subject. However, one thing can be guaranteed. Whether it's at the Aganorsa factory, whether it's at the Garcia factory, Foundation continually puts out amazing sticks. There are other lines coming from AJ Fernandez factory in Nicaragua. Nick Melillo has such a broad knowledge of blending. His palate is expert. I'm honestly excited to see this happen because it's something new coming to Foundation Cigars this summer. And so I can trust Nick Melillo's palate is the palate that it's always been and the quality not only is gonna be there, but potentially even raise the bar higher. Either way, I'm excited to see what's coming for Foundation Cigars, as well as the new blends 
from the Garcia family. Keep your eyes peeled for more news in the cigar world coming, but also for new cigars from Foundation Cigars. As usual, thank you for watching. We will see you next time on Oakland Tobacconist. Oh, 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 oh,